Hi everyone, Ian here. Um, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than my other videos. Um, I'm going to be doing something that has been blocking me from getting on with a bunch of really fun projects um, and I've been a bit nervous about doing. And I'll show you now. It's all to do with these fun little trinkets that I have here. So I have a load of Pimeroni goodies that I bought um, several months ago when the Pico was released. Um, so Pico, yeah. So we have a few Pimeroni Pie Hut goodies. Um, I love getting these things, um, and they're all you know fairly reasonably priced uh, uh, goodies that you can afford for little weekend projects and things. But I've been putting off putting some of these together because I'm scared, basically, of soldering. Um, we have to put the header pins on these things, and it's not something that uh, I have have a lot of experience of doing. Um, and so, therefore, I've been just pushing it away. I hate putting it off, putting it off, and today I thought, right, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna get on with it, and then I can get and show these other, some of these other more fun things. So, we're gonna be dealing with basically learning how to solder as a middle-aged man today. Um, so I have several different uh, sets of pins. Um, I will take one of them. Uh, ideally I'd have something that I'd be able to test on. First of all, um, I actually don't have any other spare breadboards or anything like that. So when we going for broke, I have a few, I, you know, hopefully I don't mess it up too much. I'll give you an example of some of the stuff that I've done in the past in terms of um, soldering. So you can see on the back of this, I think, yeah, you should just be able to see that. Um, basically, this is a Pi Zero, um, and I put header pins on that. You can see what a hash I've made at the bottom of that. And then the Fat DAC, which was uh, a board which gives a 20 fit book bit kind of uh, audio output and you can see the pins on that one as well which are, you know, it's not that much, it's not that bad, I just, I'm doing alright, I got to that point. Um, yeah, and so we're going to be doing that now. Um, I've watched a few videos uh, to remind myself what I'm doing and hopefully I don't do it too bad, it's, you know, it's a, it's a, I'm going to start simple, not do it too rushed. I'm going to potentially have children screaming in the background, so we've got that going on as well. Hopefully it doesn't make too much of a hash of things, but I thought it'd be an interesting thing, a precursor to doing some of the larger projects. Anyway, so I have headers, I have some a soldering iron, um, this is a 25 watt Antex one, I think that's from Pimeroni as well. I have some lead free solder, as well as some lead uh, solder and a breadboard for holding things together. Um, yeah, the the I think I've used this lead-free solder in the past, and it's not been that it's it's been difficult to work with for somebody who's like a noob like me. Um, and so therefore, I've I ended up buying some lead solder. So I think I'm probably going to be using this uh, today. So if you know, it does contain lead, and so you shouldn't be waving it in front of children or drinking it or anything like that and uh, killing yourself. But I need to plug this soldering iron in, so let's just uh, wipe that on. And, uh, yeah, let's do, a, let's do a quick unboxing of this uh, Pi Zero. Look at that, and uh, there we go, done. Unboxed. Uh, hilarious, aren't they? Um, yeah, so let's wait for that to warm up. So that's one from Pi Hat, actually, that packaging. Um, no, in fact, is that Pi Hat? That must be Pi Maroni because they've got two others with Pi Hat on them. Um, yeah. So let's wait for this to warm up. I've already wetted the. That's not. Yeah. I've actually rooted this cable around the back of everything that I've got here because it, I, you know, I set it up originally so it wasn't, so it was dangling down the front of my desk and I could see myself knocking it off the table and then burning myself, which is not 
what we want to be doing. So anyway, header pins. These need to go face down. And I've, are they actually going to stick in there? Am I putting them in the wrong place? Wow, those are stiff. I don't know why I expected that to be much, much simpler to push in. It is not. And we've got a debug on there as well. Wow, my eyes getting old these days, and uh, my eyesight is not what it once was. Let's plonk the other ones in at the same time. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be forcing that right in, but I got the impression that I would be. Anyway, those are stuck in there like that. You see, that? that is definitely heating up now. I can smell that. So, yeah, you can hear that hissing away. Now, I'm sure people are going to comment on how crappily I'm doing this, how many things I've done wrong what better approaches are, and that's fine. But I'm happy to hear those comments. Please do feedback that to me. Um, but this is just simply to get it done. Like I, I don't want to be sat there with projects that are meant to have happened many moons ago. So I'm meant to put a little bit of this on the nib, first of all. It's called tinning the nib, apparently. A little bit on there. And that feels a lot nicer. So, what I'm going to do is actually move this camera a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So, let me do that now. So, as I said, I'm using lead based solder here and I'm going to be washing my hands straight afterwards. Um, I first start with the two end pins so that we get a nice attachment and I can check things and make sure things are lined up. Um, and I'm kind of adopting this approach where I'm heating the pin with the soldering iron rather than putting the solder onto the iron directly. Um, so we get this, we kind of come in from two different angles and I'm wiping the nib of the soldering iron every so often on the sponge pad to get rid of any excess that I might have. I remember doing this at school as a light. Of, uh, part of a lunchtime class we used to do. It was a radio, amateur radio thing we did at school. And I was always rubbish <laughs> at this stuff then. It just kind of put me off it for life, like knowing that I'm not particularly great at these things. Look at that pin. Let's see if we can get any of that excess off. So, You'd use a solder sucker is the cleaning up some of these messy ones uh, where you do have situations where things are bridged. Um, I think these are okay. Go for number side two now. So I adopt the same approach on the second side. I go for the two end pins first and uh, make sure that everything's in place. And you can see that what I'm actually doing as I'm going along is I'm rotating um, the breadboard in order to make it ease of getting to thick pins. Um, it's actually quite difficult because of the fact that this is, uh, you know, I'm look. I've got a camera in the way of me here, um, and I'm. You know, you you eventually get into a rhythm with the soldier, and you'll get a feel for how it's going to um, how you work it. Um, I'm not quite sure if I should be reusing the very nib of the soldering iron or the sides, but yeah, you can see how I'm doing. Okay, 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 okay. That's all of them done. So yeah, there we are done. Pins on there, um, and yeah, it's not. It's, I mean, none of them are touching, but <laughs> we've got some globs on there, which are not fantastic, 
but I don't think we've got any bridges, so we should be good. There's a really big one there, so I'm going to go and tidy that up after. But yeah, I have my pins, and they are not wonky. Um, so yeah, we should be good to go on some other projects and hopefully I'll be able to show some of them to you in future videos um, so if you want to see them then uh, you see what we can build with these little uh, raspberry pies um, then subscribe to the channel and I will see you in a future video um, share this with a friend uh, and make sure you comment below and say how how you would have done this differently uh, and your favourite tools when you're doing soldering. Uh, I'd be really interested to know how to make myself better. And there's plenty of guides that I've got and things that I've seen in the past and I've watched a lot of uh, you know tutorials on this stuff so really welcome anyone uh, how to improve my uh, soldering skills. Okay I'll see you next time. Bye. You know what would have been really good while I was doing all that soldering? And that would have been some kind of, uh, you know, uh, I was complaining about it, I couldn't see it. And a magnifying glass would have been pretty handy. You know, like this this sort of thing. <laughs> what I've actually got on already. I'm just literally an arm's length away from where I'm sitting. <sighs> I'm such a muppet sometimes. <laughs>